done this morning. Who's that guy over there? Oh, that, uh, that's Quiet Silas. Uh, he's a friend of Sheila's. Quiet Silas. Yeah, they call him Quiet Silas because he never says a word. He's also very timid, but they mostly call him that because of the whole non-speaking thing. Hang on, he never speaks. No. What does he do for a living? He works in radio. So, uh, I hear you lost your job. So, are any of you planning on going to the parade for Paddy's Day? Well, I was thinking about it, but... Oh, I don't know if it's worth going into town, if the weather's still going to be shite next week. Lousy smart weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, looks like uh, Quiet Silas is going to say something profound. <laughs> oh, false alarm. We know you took the van from the factory, and we know that the bomb is in the van. We need you to tell us where that van is. You ain't got nothing on me. A lot of innocent people are going to die if that bomb goes off. Why should I care? Because you're a person too. Yeah, but I ain't one of them people. Damn. Good point. Quiet Silas, you want to step in here? Look, your little game of good cop, mute cop ain't going to work on me. Hang on now. Quiet Silas still has a few tricks up his sleeve. What, the guys tell her now? Now what? Well. Quiet Silas would like you to put your name, your birthday, and the location of the bomb on the face of the card and put it back in the deck. to get us the hell out of here and escape from whatever those things are. Those things, I think we've already established. They're creatures from planet Alien. Oh. But what are we going to do to get out of here? Wait, quite so as a fan. What, what should we be doing? We need to... Duck? Duck? Drill? Really? You we need to duck? drill to safety? Go go down? All right, okay. Your hang on, hang on, hang on. we got to get two little windmills. All right, two little ones. Oh God, you have to keep me better. Under, this. under, under, yeah, under. Go, go okay. under. Under siege. Under what? Under water. Under the sea. We need to move you under don't the have sea. Have time. Wait, wait, wait. I think Quiet Silas is going to say something profound. Well, I guess not. Certainly an awful mess altogether. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 brilliant. So what now? Oh, I. Uh, hey, everybody! I think Quiet Silas has something profound to say this time. <clears throat> All right, Sonny. The other day, you made a joke about the weather. You said lousy, smart weather. Everyone had a big laugh, but it was wrong. It's March now. It was March the other day. But March isn't March. March is January. That's the whole point of the joke. It's a misprinted calendar with 13 months. The extra month, March would follow December. Why would it displace March? You think it goes January, February, March, March? Unless you're suggesting that there were two separate misprints in the calendar, in which case that would make March's reference to the 13th month pointless. We're even paying attention to the weather in the episode. Springfield would be far more likely to have such heavy snowfall in December or January. Not fucking March, January. This is for all of you, right? Don't think I've noticed you doing it too. Stop making smart jokes in March. Do it in January when it's correct. I hesitate to even call them jokes. All you're doing is referencing a line when talking about the weather. It's the easiest fucking thing in the world to do. If you have to do it, do it in January, i.e. the 13th month, i.e. fucking smart. <laughs>